All right, so I was asked about light linking inside of Houdini and how do we go about doing that? So we've got a really simple scene here. Uh, we've got a couple of pieces of geo and a few lights. So we can come and look through our camera here and um, we wanna be able to you know, assign these lights to certain things. You know, Maybe we don't want this front face to be hitting crag and uh, the front light you know, from hitting crag and we just want it on the pig. Let's do a quick test render. So I'm just gonna hit render and it's gonna generate a, a ROP for me. I didn't set one up uh, initially. So this will do it for me to get us started. See that's generating our scene. And there we go. So there's my pig, there's my crag. So let's just go ahead and play with some of these lights. So this is that light that's in front. Let's go ahead and just take up its intensity make it real bright so we can kind of see it doing what we'd expect. I'll take this light number two, do the same thing. Uh, let's keep that one at uh, one. And let's take this light number one and make it five. All right, so, you know, we can set up on this, uh, we can go into our, our out context here. And here's the ROP that was automatically generated by hitting the render button. And uh, we can see it's using the camera. There's a bunch of render settings on here that we could change to speed this up. But the only thing I'm gonna do for right now is I'm just gonna turn on some extra uh, image planes. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, I'm gonna say combined lighting. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the plus sign and generate uh, from this drop down list. And I'm gonna say combined lighting per light. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me an AOV per light. So I come in here and I can see the influence of each light. So there's area one, there's area two, there's area three. Oh, where did my pig go? Let's try stopping that. We're gonna kick that off one more time. And if not, then we're gonna ignore this because I don't wanna get into a debugging of our <laughs> render layers right now. All right, let's see. There we go. Sometimes when you make changes, when you're in this progressive mode, this auto update mode, I, I'm not a huge fan, to be honest with you. You will quite often find yourself in scenarios where um, things don't render properly. Uh, uh, because what it is, is this is generating an IFD behind the scenes, which is the text file that generates, uh, that, that uh, gives all the commands to the renderer as to what to do. And so if you it can change certain variables on the fly, but if there are things that don't exist in that IFD, like geometry or certain levels of displacement, um, types of displacement, then it won't show up when you when it restarts. So I tend to just stop and hit render again. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna go to our object and let's look at the kind of the UI way. This is what most people kind of think of um, when, uh, you know, like Ma they're coming from Maya. Maya's got a light linker. And they say, hey, I want to link things. I want to light link things. Great. So we can come in here and we can go to, uh, and you can add this anywhere, right? So I'm hitting this plus sign. It could be down here. I could add it here. I could add it here. So let's go ahead and, and let's add it up here. And so let's go down to monitor rendering and say light linker. And so now it creates a UI that is quite familiar to most people who've seen a light linker. So we've got our light sources and our lit objects. And this is both light centric and object centric. So, oh, I'm going to take that back. It is light centric. So we select our light and it's going to show us what is connected uh, to those lights. And so now in this scenario, let's go ahead and say on area light one, let's, um, let's get rid of pig or get rid of crag. Let's, let's, let's actually, let's do this. Let's get rid of Let's see if that. So there we go. So using crag, we've eliminated our pig head from that render. So if we switch this to the pig head, now we'll see that the pig head is light linked to that and crag is ignored. Now we can do this for all of our lights. You know, we can come back into our, our color. Let's do a quick snapshot there so we can refer back to it. And uh, we'll go ahead and control select, and that's going to put them both back in there. And let's take um, light number two and light number two, we'll make it just crag so that falls off. And so now we can jump back and forth and we can see that change um, between those two. 
we should be able to step through and see that area light one is on both. Area light two, which we just changed, is just crag. Area light three is both. So this is great. Little UI makes it quick. We can just with a couple of mouse clicks do it. That's wonderful. I don't ever use this, which is fine. Oh, look, there's an object centric mode. See, now we can change it this way. I can see what I'm connected to. Come in and say just two. <laughs> look at that. Boom. Uh, so what is this doing? What is this UI doing? Because unlike other packages, it, all this lives on the nodes as attributes that are being passed or, or settings that are being passed to each node. So if we come in and we look, we have here our crag and our pig head. I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these and go back to our parameters tab. And you can see here under this light mask, it's setting this to area light too. And so if we go back to our light linker, linker and we are object centric, we see crag is just set to light two. So let's go ahead and add light three. And now we're gonna go back to our parameters tab and we see that it is now area light two and area light three. So this is specifying what lights we want it to use. Okay, the cool thing about this is we can start getting a little bit fancy. All right, where well, we can come in here and say star, which means light with everything in the scene, and then say, I only, I want everything, but I don't want area light two. Okay. Now we should see area light two. For whatever reason, our pig head is not using that either. You see, there it is, right? It's, it's interesting how this light linker creates like this is redundant right it's saying include area light one and include everything so this is unnecessary and it's got that same thing that that don't use area light two so this is actually really useful when we want to go in and continue to add lights so we may be adding more lights to our scene but there was just one light that we knew we didn't want or two lights that we knew we didn't want we can exclude those lights but still allow it to pick up everything else instead of specifying uh, what that is. And so, uh, but this is the basic idea behind light linking. It's very simple. Um, again, I tend to use the light mask. You can come here and click that and select, and you see that it's parsing this out and telling you what it's going to pick. Let's go ahead and say, so if we do this, you'll see that it actually gives us a different result. It got rid of the star, same result as far as what rendered, but this, if you add a now, if we added an area light four, it would not pick up and only area light three and area light one would be associated with our pig head. So some things to be aware of, uh, very powerful once you understand, you know, where the gotchas are, but uh, a lot of flexibility as to how you prefer to work. Hope this helps. Best of luck.